Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. It's been a couple weeks since our last garden update, so let's take another look. The okra has been a great success story this year. I've been picking okra every day for the last uh, two months. And I've had all the okra I need, so I think I'm going to uh, let what I have here just continue to grow and uh, harvest the seeds. But I'll definitely be planting okra again next year, but probably about half as much. The peanuts continue to look really good. Expecting to get a, a very nice peanut harvest out of this small patch a little later. So we only uh, grew one watermelon and I think it's time to harvest it. So I'm going to cut this off uh, now and uh, we'll open it up at the end of this, uh, this video to see if it was ripe or not. <laughs> I got my fingers crossed. Okay, let's take this baby out. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but the tendril is definitely all dried up. The bottom is, uh, is yellow. I don't know if I got this focused right or not, but let's see if we can get a thump out of it here. It sounds hollow. So uh, we'll be opening this up and seeing what we have. So far it looks pretty good. The sweet potatoes continue to grow and are looking good. A couple weeks ago, Danny from uh, Deep South Homestead dug up his sweet potatoes and because uh, he was worried they'd had so much rain and he was worried about the state of them and uh, we had been getting a lot of rain too so I dug one up and uh, just to make sure everything was okay, my sweet potatoes weren't rotting in the ground or anything. And they were okay, but they were still too small. They'd only been in the ground 110 days, and they need at least 125. So here's a, here's a shot of what I dug up. Not even a pound of sweet potatoes from the one plant, but it was way too early. <laughs> We did harvest the uh, three eggplants that were growing on this volunteer plant. We had those for supper last week. They were pretty good. And I uh, see we got to have at least one more flower coming on here. I plan to plant uh, sugar snap peas in here next week. And my experimental pineapple looks like it's doing well. Turmeric is uh, still looking good, looking good. We're going to have a turmeric harvest this year. And the ginger looks good as well. I haven't seen any flowers on either the ginger or the turmeric yet, but uh, the plants look healthy. The jalapenos continue to grow. We'll put on peppers. I'm letting some of these turn red now. But that's all, that's all looking very good. The navel oranges continue to do well. They should be ready to harvest in another couple months.
my experiment creating uh, the onion seed tape hasn't produced uh, the results I was hoping for. I did see onions germinate and come up a couple at a time, but then they just seem to uh, seem to die off. I don't think that was the result of the seed tape. I think it was just too wet in the last couple of weeks for the onions. The moringa trees I planted are showing signs of new growth, as well as we're getting uh, new growth on the moringa that I harvested the leaves from. So that's all looking good. The moringa cuttings I uh, planted uh, two weeks ago. Looks like they're um, putting on some little nubbins. Hopefully they're going to grow and turn into moringa trees I can plant next spring. Okay, here it is. I just weighed it. It is uh, 10.4 pounds. This is a sugar baby watermelon. I got my fingers crossed that it's right. Let's, uh, let's cut into it and see what we got. The bottom is uh, nice and yellow. That's a good sign. Let's, uh, let's open it up here. Kind of cracked open pretty fast. Oh yeah, it looks right. It looks right. Let's see if I can get this closer to the camera. There we go. We have a ripe watermelon. Now let's see what it tastes like. That makes me happy. I mean, I only had one watermelon. <laughs> if it wasn't ripe, I was going to be in trouble. And there we go. Not bad, not bad. Not too many seeds. And very sweet. This one gets a thumbs up. My very first watermelon. It is a success. Well, that watermelon turned out pretty good. I'm very happy about that. I hope you enjoyed it. That's about it for this time. Please uh, hit that thumbs up, leave your comments, and subscribe. We'll see you again next time.